Election 2011 coverage on Manx Radio. Our election coverage uh, continues today with Carol Quine, who's a medical staffing administrative uh, officer. I hope I've got that right, Ms. Quine. That's correct. At Nobles Hospital. Uh, 51, a birthday on Sunday. Well yes. done. Uh, mum of three, a grandmum, born and raised in the ancient capital of Castletown, being a commissioner for three years in 1996, stood in the election and lost to Tony Brown, who, of course, uh, the chief minister and the MHK down in Castletown. Now, let's get just this out of the way. Uh, you were quoted as saying ultimately you wanted to be the first female Chief Minister. Is that accurate? Is that an accurate quote? Yes, that's what I did say. And um, do you intend being the first female Chief Minister? I don't know where. Um, it doesn't come automatically with the job no, in Castletown. You know? No. <laughs> right. Um, you're a commissioner at the moment. Um, you've been quoted as saying you find it being a commissioner frustrating. Why? Sometimes it is frustrating because um, when we're asked from central government, um, uh, for views on issues and things, and we give our opinions, central government doesn't seem to listen to the local authorities out there. Well, it doesn't seem. What, 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 uh, how do you get they, that don't, they don't. They don't seem to take any notice of what the local Perhaps authorities. Perhaps you're not are putting saying. it forcefully enough. I, th I think we do. It's just that they they go ahead with what they want to see to be done. You enjoy being a commissioner. I love being a commissioner. Yes. Right. Yeah. I mean, you ha it's quite a, a burdensome workload, isn't it? I see that you. You attended 17 of 21 meetings, so the majority yes. of the meetings you were attending there. What, yes. what, do you, what do you gain? Do you think these meetings are, are pertinent to the point and serve the community well? I think they do. They give the community um, a, a voice of what's happening in their area. And, um, you know, we're all very approachable and we're quite often approached by the constituents. How often do you get the members of the public in watching your proceedings? We don't. That's, that's the sad thing. It, it would be nice to have more member, more uh, people from Castletown come to the um, meetings. We usually always had one, but he's now one of our commissioners, Peter Hill -Heaton. You talk about spending as far as the government is concerned. Uh, I've met, not met one person who agrees with £3 million spent on Richmond Hill, £8 million on regeneration. You don't agree with the regeneration money. I mean, it has to be said, Castletown it looks nice. It's had a lot spent on it over the last two uh, there's decades. A, there's other ways that you could regenerate areas without spending an awful lot of money. One thing that I've heard mentioned quite often is let's get some of the officers from Central Douglas out into those areas recreating but, regeneration. But is that practical? Everybody says that, but it never seems to happen. We've got in St John's... Uh, but why does it not happen? Why is it not happening? Well, how, we, we've how got you empty get it to properties happen? in various different areas. We've got that magnificent marine biological station in Port Erin. How many departments could be housed in there? Yeah. Well, uh, do you think you'd be able to push it, push this case forward? Do you think you'd, uh, if you were MHK, have the strength to do that? Well, I'm. I would be one of twenty-four, and if I got the support, then yes, things could happen. Um, Things can happen. If, if you join as a team and work as a team, look what happened at Castletown at Christmas time. We had three different departments working together and we brought 7,000 people into so, Castletown. So get the big battalions together and that you think That's it, yeah, right. work as a team. Um, burning issue for Castletown is a southern area plan. Why? Well, it's it's long overdue. It, it's 20 plus years behind and now I hear that it's put back again until after the general election. Well, it seems to be okay around Castletown. It's a very nice area to live. Lots of people it is, love it. It, but, uh, it is a wrong? lovely area to live. There's no affordable housing for our young people in Castletown. So but, where would you put the affordable housing? Obviously, well, Scarlet is a bone of contention. Where, well, where would you put it? Well, Scarlet is not Castletown. Scarlet is Maloo. And that's but the it trouble. feeds Castletown. Yes, but that's the trouble we have in Castletown too. The boundaries cut us off from extending. So maybe it is time to go forward and amalgamate. You mentioned independence. You'd rather the island led rather than followed. We couldn't be totally independent. Well, how independent so. can you... A sort of quasi... We already have a quasi-independence. Well, uh, um, we could li liaise more with other islands and see how they operate and... and we do that with do, the Channel Islands already, don't we? I, I, do we? But do we do it enough? You know... Um, do you think we should break away and form a sort of a, a group of islands? That might be an option, yeah. That, that might be a way forward. Um, we need to see, and especially on tourism, how are these other islands uh, generating their tourism? Let's take on board some of their ideas. If we discuss things, then maybe we could come up with some plans. Uh, and another thing, staff pensions, local authority staff pensions, that concerns you? I think it concerns everybody, doesn't it? It does, yes. How are we going to get yeah. over that? I don't know. Uh, um, but then 
we haven't got all the facts and we do need all the facts. We need to, to be open and honest and we need everything on the table and let's see about going forward. Carol Quine, uh, candidate uh, in the general election in Kazakhstan, thank you for joining us this morning.